This Mother's Day, I'm making something I know my mother will love. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and today on our food adventure, I'm going to be making a Middle Eastern roast chicken served with tomb. This is a special taste made collaboration with my YouTube friends from all over the world. Please stay tuned till the end of the video where I'm going to post all of their delicious recipes for Mother's Day. Let's start with the vegetarian baker and his delicious fruit tea. Next we have Robin's food and the best breakfast pancake as a surprise for Mother's Day. We also have Love Bites with her filet mignon, eggs benedict, and my friend from Vancouver, the kitchen witch, with her sun-dried tomato and feta frittata muffins. We've also got Sharmila's kitchen with some delicious morgue makhani, also affectionately known as butter chicken. And my friend from Down Under, Creative Cakes by Sharon is going to make raspberry mousse-filled chocolate cups. Next we have Wano Papa with no-bake chocolate and raspberry tarts. And Tabby Eats all the way over from Tokyo with some matcha scones with lemon glaze. Mmm. My mother lives in India and she visited us last year in Toronto and we had lots of fun together making new videos and learning new recipes. When she returned, unfortunately, she got very, very sick and we're not able to spend Mother's Day together. But I'm making this recipe in her honor. I grew up in the Middle East and I know she loves all of these Arabian flavors. I'm going to serve this roast chicken with thum. Thum is one of my mother's favorite things. It is a garlic paste that you can serve with chicken or kebabs. You can use it as a spread or a dip and it's simply fantastic. Let's start with the chicken. I'm using four chicken legs, that is the thigh and the drumstick together. And the first thing I'm going to do is score them so that the marinade can seep right into the meat. Next, I'm gonna work on the marinade. And like they say in Arabic, it's iktir halu. This marinade is deep and rich and it's going to cover the chicken and give it a delicious flavor. I'm going to start with a quarter cup of olive oil and to that, I'm going to add the juice of a lemon. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of coarse salt followed by another teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. Next, I'm going to add two teaspoons of harissa. Harissa is used in North African and Arabic cooking. It's a chili paste that has a very unique flavor. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of finely chopped garlic and my all-time favorite ingredient, a teaspoon of pomegranate molasses to give it just a little bit of sweetness. I'm going to follow that with one teaspoon of sumac and then I'm going to mix it all together. Once the marinade's ready, I'm simply going to take my chicken and put it into a Ziploc bag and I'm going to pour my marinade into the bag and I'm going to squish it around. Now, I like to leave my chicken in the fridge in the marinade overnight, but you need a minimum of one hour. I'm going to heat my oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to add my roasting pan to the oven so it gets nice and hot. I'm going to take my roasting pan out of the oven and just add a little bit of olive oil to it. To that, I'm going to add four pieces of chicken and I'm going to return it to the oven to cook for 25 minutes. While my chicken is in the oven, I'm going to take the reserved marinade and I'm going to boil it. Now, I don't want to waste this marinade because it has amazing flavors in it. It's got harissa, sumac, pepper and salt and I don't want to simply throw it away. What I'm going to do is boil it on my stovetop and I'm going to reduce it by half. Now, boiling this ensures that there's no bacteria. I'm going to use this marinade to slather the chicken to give it some additional flavor. In 25 minutes, I'm going to remove my roasting pan from the oven. I'm going to try and remove as much of the excess oil as possible. Now, you can use a turkey baster to do this, or you can even use a spoon. I'm going to turn the chicken over, and then I'm going to fill in the roasting pan with some lemon slices and some onion that I've cut into slices as well. I'm going to return the pan back into my hot oven and I'm gonna cook it for an additional 20 minutes. 
After 20 minutes in the oven, I'm going to simply take my chicken and turn it so the right side is facing up and I'm going to turn my oven to its broil setting. And I'm just going to broil the chicken for about 7 to 10 minutes till the chicken has a beautiful color. And then I'm going to take it out of the oven. Once it's out of the oven, I'm going to add a little bit more sumac on top of my chicken and I'm going to add a bowl of this delicious garlic paste that's also known as thum. I'm going to add some parsley and some Arabic pita that's also known as kaboos. And I'm going to sprinkle it with some toasted pine nuts. If you want the recipe for my thum, I'm going to leave it in the description. If you're celebrating Mother's Day with your mother this year, give her a hug and tell her you love her. And I hope that you make something special for her. Hopefully it's this recipe. If not, stay tuned for all of the other recipes from my YouTube friends from around the world. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. Please do subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the video and I will see you again. Take care. Bye. Thank you.